Hello and welcome, Humanoid Nation. This is the Humanoid Freak coming at ya. Today, I'm gonna try something new today. What's that new? I'm gonna try a hit or miss, some comedy jokes about my life. Hey, if Gabriel Iglesias can make a career of just telling stories of himself and making it funny, why not me? I'm not comparing myself to him. Because he's way funnier, but I had a bunch of weird shit happen to me all the time in my life. So right now, I'm going to introduce you to the hit or miss comedy segment stand-up routine that I have coming up. Unedited. Unedited as well. Because I want to see how this goes. And if I do it well, who knows? I may do some more. But right now, it's unedited. Let's do this just like... Plan 9, or what's his name? Edward Style. Do it in one take, under one camera, in one take. So, yes. Back in the day when I used to live in BC, good old Surrey, BC, British Columbia, you might have heard. Ah. See, unedited. There was this big ass library back in the day. When it first opened, everybody went to this place. It was in downtown Vancouver, the biggest library in the city. And of course, there's always homeless people working, living there. So yeah, I go to the library, get my stuff. And one day I decided, hey, why not look up porn? Yeah, I did it. I went and looked up porn. I was young and stupid. What, what do you want me to say? So I went to go look up porn, and all of a sudden, before this is really before I knew about like porn spam, where like you open up one porn site and a whole shit ton of porn comes at you all at once. You're just swimming in fucking. You're just swimming in fucking porn. Now imagine that. I'm in a library full of people, and there's a line waiting for me to use a computer. And I have porn up the wazoo on my system. And then the librarian came. And after she did, she did, and after she's done coming, she came over to my place where I was sitting at and told me, Hey, this old man over here needs to use your computer. I go like, I, and I told her, Hey, there's some porn on here. I don't know what happened. You, can you check it out? Can you turn it off? She goes and sits on the place where I was at. And I just book it out of there. I'm not, yeah, good luck with the porn there, buddy. It's next on the list. Let's see. All right, gay guys love me for some reason. I don't know why, they just do. I'm sitting at the bus stop one day waiting for my bus. And I got to tell you, it's the hottest day of the year. And basically, I'm dehydrated. So while I'm waiting for the bus... I'm looking towards this way with my mouth open like this. Like, panting like a dog. <laughs> no bullshit there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing because I'm dehydrated as hell. To me, in my point of view, I thought I was dehydrated. Along comes this guy and just starts touching my hair and I go like, holy fuck, what the hell? And he looks at me like, sorry dude, I thought you were coming on me. So apparently doing this... <laughs> Is coming on to gay guys. Remind yourself not to do that anymore. My last name is a very hard thing to say. Because I'm Spanish and all. I'll say it anyway. My last name is pronounced Madariaga. Good luck trying to say that. People have bad luck trying to say my last name. They either say Madagascar, Marijuana. Marijuana. Madiriaga. 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 One guy even called me. He's like, Madas. That dude over there with the glasses. And hey, you over there. Because they gave up trying to say my name. I don't blame him. I have a long last name. One thing I'm not looking forward to when I grow old is becoming an old age Mexican. Why? Because Mexicans, they get shorter 
Their arms get shorter. They get fatter. They get balder. Their penis gets smaller. And they look like a T-Rex. Because their arms are so short. And we get short. Well, I'm tall, so I don't have that problem. So I'll be a tall man with short arms. Kind of scary. But yeah. That's how the Mexican old people are. We tend to look like a T-Rex with short arms and just sit in our ca- she just sit in our love seat the entire day making our wives cook for us. That's what my grandpa does all day. Basically tells her fat Basically this is what my grandma says this is what my grandpa says to my grandma. Hey, old hag, where's my food? Love you though. You've been fat for 40 years. Still love you. And I'm just sitting there like yeah, that's how old Mexican people talk to each other. Either that or my grandma doesn't want to get a divorce because she believes it's wrong. Other than that, I think I just feel bad for her. Yeah. Huh. One thing that sucks about being tall as a kid is being mistaken for their parents. Yes, I said that. Minus the goatee and the beard and shorter hair. As a young lad, I was a tall guy about this size. And I always get mistaken for other kids' parents. One day I went to this friend's house with my mom. And they had like a bunch of ten kids. Because, you know, because it's Mexican people. We have kids up the yin-yang. The ice cream truck rolls by, and all the kids run, go running out. It's like, ice cream, ice cream, we want ice cream. So they run out, forgetting their money. I look at my mom, and I go like, hey, can I have money for the ice cream? She goes like, yeah, she gives me a buck. It was awesome back then, and the dollar, uh, ice cream cost a dollar. So yeah, I go outside. I see the kids with the ice cream truck guy. The ice cream truck guy looks at me. He's like, hey, here comes your father. What? Another time when I was in Costco with a family friend of mine, I was checking out the free food that they have there. So I was just gobbling up nom 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 nomming along with my friend. And then she went off to the side. And I followed her and then all of a sudden she go the person serving the food goes like, You gotta ask your father for permission to have this free food. Seriously? Oh, and one more thing. Being tall in elementary school sucks. Why? Because every damn day some little shit will come up to you and say like, Did you fail high school? No, I did not fail high school. I'm still your age. And I'm, just because I'm tall, fuck you. And then I go to high school and it's all over. Because like, everyone is the same size as me. So it's all good, but elementary for me, elementary school for me just suck balls. It's like, yeah, are you, did you fail high school? Are you that dumb? It's like, no, fuck you, kid. Uh, I once went for this interview down in the ghetto. It just said in the paper, it's like, starting at $25 an hour, premium rates, no door-to-door selling, you know that bullshit so I go okay so I go to this thing it's out in the middle of the ghetto this uh, I go to the bathroom to wash my hands and I almost bump into this one lady when I come out this one lady looks like she could be in a porno because she's long blonde killer body and I thought like hey did I just step into a porno but this is real life so that doesn't happen so I kind of check her out like like this like I do always and basically, I will go to interview. Lo and behold, who's... Lo and behold, when I go into interview room, what, I see a bunch of people in there watching Ocean's Eleven on TV waiting to be interviewed. Then, who guess who comes walking in? The lady I was checking out. She's doing this interview. And basically, what the job is, is selling knives door-to-door. They said no door-to-door experience, but apparently, they mean door-to-door is... Basically, they have clients that they go to and go to their doors and ask them if they want to buy knives. Just look at me, man. 
Do you think I could survive going into a rich neighborhood selling knives? This Mexican right here going up to your door is like, Hey, Holmes, buy this knife, huh? I need to get some money. So I declined that job. What the fuck, dude? It's like, how am I supposed to sell knives to rich suburban people? I wind up in jail when I show up at their house. And I don't drive, so I might as well... And I have to take the bus and with these knives on the bus. People are going to lose their shit. So yeah, I, did, I, did, I declined that job. Well, one thing about working in customer service, I used to work in a theater and I used to work at this podium. It's basically like a bouncer, but with your dignity all gone because you have to wear a stupid uniform and stand behind a podium look like you're about to judge a fashion design show or you look like you're in an auction it's like give me 100 give me 200 blah do I hear 500 do I hear 600 all that bullshit so every time I say like your feeder is over down there to the right enjoy I was used to saying enjoy all the time until one day when this one person came up to me and said like excuse me where's your bathroom Right there behind me, sir. Enjoy! They look back at me and like... And I just realized, like, I gotta stop saying that. But it's stuck in your head. Because every time these people ask for bathrooms, I always say enjoy. And they just give me the weirdest look. Yeah. What's next? The first time I got drunk back in BC. I forgot what I drunk. I forgot what I drank, but it was strong as hell. And I wound up playing the real version of Frogger, which is basically me, basically me crossing the street trying to avoid cars, just thinking that do 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 do. I can't remember how Frogger goes, I can't, the song. Just imagine a big Mexican in the road, Frogger style. Almost died. <laughs> yes. Okay, what's next? Second time I got drunk, also was in BC. Me and my buddy decided to go get drunk, and this girl came along with us who happens to be. Okay, hold on. Let me back up. Me and my buddy decided to go drinking. This girl called him up, said she wanted to hang out. He said, okay. One thing though, he was not attracted to her at all. I don't know why, but she had a major hot for him. So he didn't want her, she wanted him, but she was hot though anyway, and he didn't want her, and I have no idea why. So yeah, we wind up getting something that was extremely strong, and I wound up getting drunk within four, like, five shots. Shit. Fuck. Within four to five shots. And from what I can remember, he got drunk, she wasn't drunk, took advantage of him, took him home, and raped his ass. Because the next day I saw him, I went to his house and he was like crying in the corner of his bedroom, going like. I asked him, buddy, what's wrong? It's like, she took me home and raped me. Yes, guys can get raped. Yeah, so what happened to me? I was two blocks away from my house. I thought, I can make this shit. And decided to go just walk off. And I'm just stumbling along, stumbling along. I wound up falling into a ditch. No, not a ditch. A bush. I decide, hey, I'll just rest my eyes for a minute and then get up and go home. Because I'm two blocks away from my house and I can make it. Wrong. Apparently four hours later, from what I've been told, cops found me yelling. Me Found... Cops found me, and apparently I was yelling, I don't want to die, save me, Santa, save me, Santa. They drove me home in a paddy wagon. I don't know how I wound up in bed, but I did. And next day, my mom told me what happened. And it was an amazing story. Yeah. Wound up in a bush two blo blocks away from my house, and I couldn't make it. That's how trashed I was. What's next? The first time I got high by accident. Back in BC. You can tell that all these stories start in BC. 
Why? Because I hanged out with a bunch of stupid people back then. So, yeah. Me and my ex-friend went to this party in a park. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Then we found wound up going home with these girls that took... Don't think like that. These girls offered us a ride home. They drove him home first. And then I, they drove me to the train station to, for me to go home. All the way to the train station, they went into a parking lot and toked up. And this is the first time I ever experienced this. And I don't like getting high because like, it's not for me. So while they're hotboxing the car with me in the back seat, I'm doing this. Trying to be it's conspicuous. Kind of got high because like then I got on the train and I'm just looking at my hand like this. Five fingers? God damn. So that's the first time I got high. By accident. The second time I got high by accident. Here in Edmonton, Alberta. When Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay was playing. I was working at the theater. At the time. I went in there to get a broom so I can clean up the lobby outside. Walked in. Everybody in the theater just toked up. Damn. So I go outside, my head's hurting. I go to manager, I'm about to say something, but this one customer comes out and says, like, Hey, people are getting high in there. Can you do something? So the manager twill, looks at me and goes, like, follow me. And I go, like, fuck. And I go there in a second time. A second whiff of that shit. He must have sent something when I came back out, because he just looks at me and goes, like, You are going to the north door, which is another door podium, where basically you just let people in. So basically he took me off the main thing and just put me on door and I was just dead. And from what I was told, I was looking at my hand all the time. What is it with me when I get high and looking at my hand? I have no idea. I got molested by a cougar once, back in the feeder days. This one lady asked me, he's like, hey, where can I go for a smoke? She goes like, I go to your right over where the doors are. She goes like, thanks, hon. It would have been hot, but the thing is... She looked like the crazy cat lady from The Simpsons, but missing a tooth. And she rubbed my ass and walked away, and I felt so uncomfortable. I need an adult! Seriously! I was once grounded, and I didn't even know it. Here's how it happened. Actually, I don't know what I did that made me grounded for some reason, but this was back in the day of elementary school. Or high school, one of the two. It involved school. So yeah, apparently I was grounded. And back in the day, I would go every Friday to go watch a movie. At the movie theaters. And this was back when like movies used to cost like $2.50, $3. Yeah. Somewhere around 5 when cheap theaters used to be cheap. Not like the bullshit they have today where they call it $15 is cheap. Or six or ten dollars is cheap. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that. So apparently, a month goes by, and I don't watch any movies because that's what my mom thought was a punishment for me. Because like I love watching movies, so she grounded me by not wa able to watch movies. Reason I didn't watch a movie for a month is because there was nothing good to watch during that time. Finally, I saw a movie being played, and it was called, I think it was like, um, Surf Ninjas or something. Not Surf Ninjas. I don't know. Just I'll say Surf Ninjas. I can't remember what it was that made me want to go see a movie. But then I go home, I go like, come on, I'm dip mob. I'm going to go watch the movies. Bye. He was like, no, you're not. It's like, what? Because you're grounded. I look at it like, since when? Since like a month ago. Why do you think you haven't gone to see movies? And I look at her and I say, like, because there's nothing, has, there hasn't been anything good lately to watch. We just look at each other and it's like, okay. 
So that's the first time I was grounded without knowing. Um, and to end this thing, the first time I had sex was bullshit and boring. Yes, I said it. And no, I'm not gay. I do like women. I just found them first time to be really, really bad. Yeah. When I was in visiting a friend of mine in Montreal when I was 22. Yes, I lost when I was 22. Fuck you. I went to Montreal and like my friend's girlfriend's friend was staying over one day. My friend and his girlfriend went to the bedroom and just did the vertical horizontal mambo, if you know what I mean. Me and her were left watching a movie. Yada, yada, yada. One thing led to another. We wind up doing it. And I thought, like, during the middle of it, I go, like, what is this bullshit? And I was so bored, I decided to count the ceiling tiles. So I'm just laying there going, like, one, two, three, four, ha, 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 ha. Just counting, like, just looking up. She doesn't see me because it's reversed. Like, what's it, what's it called when the girl's facing towards the wall? Not this way, but the other way. She's facing that way. So I'm, like, counting up the tiles. Really bored. Then she looks back at me to see how I'm enjoying it. And I quickly tur put on my old face, which is, like, <coughs> just to get it over with. Yeah, that's basically it. Put on my old face at the end because I was bored, like... They want to get caught. Didn't want to hurt her feelings though. So I just did this. <laughs> and try to get that image out of your head. Anyways, this is a hit or miss comedy segment. Hope you liked it. Have a good night, humanoid. Humanoid out.